Hey everyone, this is Ryan Jeske with the Prescott Caliber Club. In today's video, we're going to do something pretty cool. I want to introduce you guys to my friend Adam Nance. He is a uh, Marine Combat Vet, BJJ Black Belt. He's an app developer and a veteran uh, advocate. He has developed an app and that's basically what we're going to be talking about today, which is kind of designed to help combat vet suicide. Um, but the real purpose of the app is to kind of get vets helping vets connecting together. And so I thought it'd be interesting to make a little video, kind of introduce you guys to the idea, the app, the man, and ask him some questions so you know what it's all about. And if any of you guys out there are veterans and you want to participate in this, or if any of you guys are even people who would want to get on the other side where you can advertise and things for the app, um, we would be able to do that too. So. Let's get right into it. I just kind of wanted to ask Adam a little bit about um, you know, who you are, what's your background, what was your history with uh, service to the country and that kind of stuff. Awesome. Well, thanks for having me. And um, I, first of all, I want to say thank you for being the first patron and, and well, really getting this kicked off for us. Um, yeah, my name is Adam Nance. I was in the Marine Corps from 02 to 06. I spent two tours in Iraq during the actual invasion. And then when all the stuff was kicking off in Fallujah. Um, and I just, I really wanted to make something to make it easier for veterans to reach out and connect with one another. The name of the app is Lower 22 Vets, and we'll link to that down in the description section and give you guys links to find it and stuff, but what does the name mean? Where does that name come from? Um, that's, that's a synonymous number with the, the military and service members, and that's the number of veterans that kill themselves each and every day. Okay. So our whole goal is to try to lower that number and just do what we can to make an impact on, on people's lives. Can you explain a little bit about um, how the app works, I guess, because it's very interesting. Essentially, the way I understand it is there's there's a few different parts to the app, but really the main service is that there's a location service. So as a vet, you would you would sign up, you would get verified, you would get yourself an account and build a profile. Right. And from there, you're able to kind of pull it up and see other vets that are in your area. Right? So there's two big functionalities on the app, and that's one being our community, and that's a function just like any other social media app. You can post on there, you can, you know, block people, you can follow people and, you know, see what other veterans are doing. And then we have a vet nearby. That's where you can actually go in depth and locate local veterans around you when you move to a new area or if you're visiting. Like, I travel a lot to go do BJJ in different places. And one of the things I do is I try to find the sites that, you know, welcome veterans but if i had veterans already training there it'd just be an easier door to walk through what um what additional features are within the app is there anything as far as video sharing links articles any of those types of things we have news articles about all the giveaways that we do it's not cool. a normal app where we're just trying to push unnecessary news all we're trying to do is raise money get gifts for veterans and then just by signing up be eligible to win the prize. So tell us a little bit more about the giveaways, how that works, what kind of stuff are you guys giving away? So the first set of giveaways, we, we plan on having monthly giveaways as just a general thank you to all the veterans. Then we want to have contests and little prizes in between just to say thank you. Um, like I said, the monthly giveaways, just for signing up, downloading the app and signing up, that, that registers a veteran for all that. If we do a fun contest like making a meme, destroying another branch of service, like the funniest one is going to win. And I mean, the cool thing is, is like I said, thank you, because I got like 12 cool gifts to give out just from you. Absolutely. And, you know, if if we find a funny enough meme, I'm down to give a veteran a shotgun for making fun of somebody else. Yeah, absolutely. And that's that's how we kind of got linked up here. I was doing some private lessons with Adam and... Um, we just got talking about what we're doing. He brought this up. And so I've donated some money to help um, basically products for the giveaways. We've done some things like uh, food, you know, emergency food packs, a shotgun, a suppressor. There's a bunch of different things. They're really cool gifts. It's not this like 
sticker pack or things no, like yeah. that. It's some really, really cool, substantial stuff. Do you guys have any anything in the future that you're planning on doing with the app? Any other features or anything along those lines? One of the things that we're trying to mess with on the back end of it is actually set up an events calendar. Um, I just think it would be cool, and I think the pandemic showed us that we don't need to be around each other to also enjoy, you know, a good time. Yeah. So one of my buddies has a very nice place in, uh, in Oregon where he's a bartender, like real upscale place. And I think it would be cool if we could send out maybe an old fashioned package to, you know, 15, 20 vets. He puts on a class showing how to make a nice drink or two. And then you just have vets sitting around bond and having a drink together. Cool. So try to set up events like that to where, it doesn't matter where you're at in the United States, you can still connect with another veteran. Do you have to be a veteran to use the app? To use the app, you need to be a veteran. To win the prizes, you need to be a veteran. But we also recognize that there are people like you and companies out there that actually do support us. So we are encouraging of those people to reach that market and they can go ahead and get on the app as well. What does the verification process look like for a vet? I mean, how does that work? How do you verify that it's only vets getting onto the app? We have all this technology. It doesn't take a veteran more than three minutes to verify over a FaceTime phone call. Cool. Show a DD-214, your license, a VA card, something like that. Is there any cost to the vets? No, there's actually no cost. It's you just sign up to win stuff. Cool stuff. Yeah. How do, I guess, obviously vets to support you they would sign up and, and do their thing on the app how do people like myself how do they go about contacting you to um if they wanted to advertise or help pitch in or donate something or anything along those if lines? anybody wants to contribute we have a paypal at lower 22 vets at gmail.com and 100 percent of the contributions that go to there we actually let you decide how to the funds are uh, distributed cool like we have four or five different things that you can choose from you can help out by you know basically contributing a monthly prize if you want to you can help a small business out that's veteran owned by you know absorbing some of their costs and then the other one I want this kind of a loaded question but are there other ways that you personally give back or contribute to this and I'm thinking along the lines of your half guard seminar things like that. absolutely I love Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and that was like really the best outlet for me when I was transitioning from the Marine Corps out into the civilian world and it's something that just stuck with me and half guard is my favorite position so we just did a seminar which we raised nine hundred dollars for like, that was cool. and so that's actually going to go into a subscription box sweet and so someone's gonna win a subscription box just from that but yeah I We'll travel anywhere in the United States cool, and, and, and do it just for the fun of it and just to help out another veteran. Cool. So there's something for you guys. If, you, uh, if you're into BJJ and you want to take a private lesson, that money will be donated to this cause as well. Um, what do you think the future holds for you, the app? What are you hoping to see it do within the next few years? It's the other thing we should mention is that it's relatively new. We're putting this video on at that point in time. I mean, it's only been out for a couple of weeks and we're sort Three of trying weeks to now. Really, yeah. really develop a following, just get people talking about it and people aware of it. But uh, where do you see it within a couple of years? Well, my hope is, is that in a couple of years, we can drop the suicide rate by one. Like it's, it's a small number, but it's, it's a realistic goal. If we can drop it to 21 a day in a few years, that'll be successful overall. In a couple months time, I'm actually getting to travel to California to visit some of my buddies and do a seminar at their gym, cool. going up to Washington to visit uh, one of my students brothers and put on a seminar for his uh, group of uh, people and then stop down in uh, Oregon and visit some, you know, old friends as well. All along the way though, there are huge stops for, for the app to just start to take a hold of. As far as the app in general, like I want us to get to a place where we have enough users that people can reach out and we can lower that number just by one in a couple of years. Just, just little tiny steps and doing what we can because the prizes that I have in mind 
like, I don't want to give it away, but man, like, I want to be able to gift people vacations. Yeah. Like, I want to be able to go, okay, guess what? Sign up for this. You and a family of four, you don't have to pay for a plane ticket. Yeah. You can go to Disneyland, Disney World, you know, and yeah. just enjoy the day. That's where I want the app to be and cool. just people to just enjoy other veterans' company. Cool. And then the overall goal clearly being... Uh, Lower it by one every yeah. few years. Just something that we can make a difference with and actually make it a measurable metric. Cool. All right, guys. Well, I think that's all I've got. Um, I wanted to thank Adam for coming out here today and talking about this and sharing what he's doing. If any of you guys want to support him, please uh, jump in the description section down below where there will be some links and things like that. And um, I, do you have anything else that you want to cover or say? Or? The 100th veteran that comments on his post, I'll give the shotgun to. Boom. There it is. There All right, go. guys. So I want each and every one of you to stay safe. And as always, don't forget to keep prepping.